Hey Bears fans, if you want Deshaun Watson on the Chicago Bears, I want you to type me in the comment section right now because Deshaun Watson, well, he's officially demanded a trade from the Houston Texans. And if you want him in Chicago, all you got to do is type me in the comments. Light up the comment section. I hope to see a thousand plus comments on today's video. Let's get fired up about the possibility of a Deshaun Watson trade on today's show. The latest news on Watson plus four trade ideas to get him to Chicago. That's all coming up right now. You're watching Chicago Bears now. I am your host, Harrison Graham. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at HGrahamNFL. And of course, subscribe to the channel. We have daily videos on your Chicago Bears. Okay, let's get some background on Deshaun Watson, and then we will get into my blockbuster trade ideas. He has officially requested a trade. Now, apparently, he did this weeks ago, according to Tom Pelissero, but it is now public now that the Houston Texans have decided to hire David Culley at the age of 65 years old as a first-time NFL head coach. Obviously, Watson was kept out of the loop. He's been unhappy for weeks, and it's now public knowledge that he has demanded a trade from the Houston Texans. Now, Houston doesn't want to move on from him. They want to sit him down with new head coach David Culley, and they would like to keep him, but as far as Watson's concerned, that ship has sailed, but... Houston doesn't have to do anything, but I think there's a pretty good chance that they trade him. And obviously for the Bears, they really need a quarterback. Here's what Ian Rappaport had to say. How would a trade work? If the Texans traded him, the two sides would agree to a deal that works for both sides. Then Watson would provide notice that he would allow a trade to that team. Otherwise, no deal. Why is that important? Because Deshaun Watson has a no-trade clause in his contract, so if he does get traded and the Texans agree to move him, he'll have some power on where he can play in 2021. Now, I keep getting this idea of, oh, he's too expensive. Well, next year, he only costs $10.5 million against the cap, so the Bears can make it work whether you want to believe it or not. Doesn't mean it's going to happen. Doesn't mean the Bears are going to get him, but they can trade for Watson from a financial standpoint. Obviously, in 2022, the cap really increases for Watson, but you can worry about 2022 in 2022. I'm worrying about right now, and right now is about finding a quarterback for the Chicago Bears for next season. Send in your best Deshaun Watson trade ideas. I want to hear it right now in the comments. Send in more than one. Again, a thousand comments is the goal on today's show. Coming up after this YouTube ad break, I got four blockbuster trade ideas for Deshaun Watson. So during the ad, send in your best Deshaun Watson trades. And when you return, the video will be back and playing. Okay, my number one Deshaun Watson trade idea, Watson and a third to the Bears for the next four first round picks. Listen, this is simple. I think the, the Chicago Bears should swing big and swing early to try and get out in front of the Deshaun Watson sweepstakes. And let's just call a spade a spade. The Bears are gonna have to pay more. Why? Because they have the number 20 overall pick in the first round. The Miami Dolphins are interested. They have the number three pick. The Jets are interested. They have the number two pick. The Bears are going to have to offer an extra first round pick than all these other teams. That's just simple math. That's just how this is going to work. If the Bears want any chance of getting Deshaun Watson in Chicago, they're going to have to pay more draft capital because they're picking all the way down at number 20. And who cares if you give up an extra first in 2023? If you get Deshaun Watson, you're hoping that's the number 32 overall pick because you're winning Super Bowls. Doesn't mean that's going to happen, but at worst, that's going to be a pick in the 20s because Deshaun Watson's going to be taking Chicago to the NFL playoffs. Now, how many first-round picks would you trade for Deshaun Watson? I want to hear from you guys in the comments section. Light them up today. How many first-round picks would you trade for the Texans quarterback? I just told you I'm willing to trade four. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. I get subscribed to Chicago Bears now. We got the latest Bears news, rumors, trade ideas, much more. If the Bears trade for Deshaun Watson, we're going to make a video about it. So hit that big red button and subscribe. You see the link below. It's youtube.com slash bears now. Get subscribed to the channel. Daily Bears videos all off season long. Okay, my number two with Deshaun Watson trade idea is as follows. Watson in a fourth to the Bears for the next three first round picks in Kyle Fuller. Kyle Fuller is probably one of your stronger trade assets for the Chicago Bears because he's entering uh, the final year of his deal, and he's still a number one corner in the NFL. Played pretty well last year, didn't have as many picks, which obviously 
you'd like to have uh, see him get you know two, three, four, five interceptions, but still really good. He's always been good against the run. He's a good tackler uh, for a cornerback as well. And you know, I'd be willing to part ways with Kyle Fuller and three first round picks to get Deshaun Watson. I think that's definitely worth it. At the end of the day, I like Kyle Fuller. I like some of these players on these this defense, but if you have to part ways with one of them, if that gets you Deshaun Watson, isn't that worth it? I think so. Jalen Johnson proved he can be a really good outside corner for you. So I think you roll with him and you go get someone else for your number two outside corner. So I think that would work very, very well for the Chicago Bears. I would have no problems with this trade idea whatsoever. Now, the Super Bowl is about 10 days away, and if you want to bet on the big game, there's only one place to do it, and that is bet rivers. Go to chatsports.com slash bet il or chatsports.com slash bet in. They're going to give you a 100% deposit match at sign up. So go ahead and get signed up and get your deposit match right there. Up to 250 bucks. That means you put down 250. They're going to give you an extra 250 to gamble on for free. And if you want to bet on the big game, the lines are set. Chiefs are three-point favorites over under at 56. This will certainly fluctuate uh, throughout the next week and a half leading up to kickoff. But again, I'm going to make some money. Also, you can bet on props. Super Bowl props, there's nothing better. You can do stuff like, what is the Gatorade bath going to be for the winning coach? It's a whole lot of fun. Chatsports.com slash BetIN for you Indiana folks. Chatsports.com slash BetIL for you Illinois folks. You must be within state lines in one of those two states to place a bet. Okay, number three, Deshaun Watson trade idea. We got four of them on today's show. Watson to the Bears for three first-round picks and your second this year as well. So you don't get four first-round picks if you're the Texans, but you don't have to send anything back besides Watson, and you get a second this year as well. So you get some more draft capital up front if you are Houston. If you're looking to you know start your rebuild a little bit faster, that could be an option as well. And again, I'm throwing these all out there. We're talking about this on Chicago Bears now because getting Deshaun Watson needs to be your number one priority. I don't care how you do it. I don't care what it takes. You got to exhaust every single option if you are the Chicago Bears to get this guy to Chicago. I, he's just re a ridiculous talent. I can't emphasize enough that players of Deshaun Watson's caliber do not become available. They don't. And look, the Texans can play hardball. They can they can say, oh, we're not trading him. We have him under contract till 2025. If Watson's serious about this, he just won't report this offseason, and they'll have no choice but to trade him. Like, they're not going to hold him hostage because that doesn't help them out. At least get draft picks for him. They will trade him if Watson is serious about wanting a trade. You can take that to the bank. And also, I want to mention this as well. If Deshaun Watson wants to approve a trade to the Bears, you better have Allen Robinson. So you guys know what to do. Wake up, Ryan Pace. Hashtag sign AR in the comment section. Get Allen Robinson on board. Say, hey, we're going to go take a swing at Deshaun Watson. Sweet. Give me five years, $100 million, whatever it is that Allen Robinson wants. You sign him. Again, you can make the money work. I did a video on uh, salary cap cut candidates. Go check that out here on the channel. But you got to sign Allen Robinson if you want any hope of getting Deshaun Watson. So spam sign AR in the comments. Okay, my last one here, and this is, uh, this is my out there trade idea. I figured you guys would ask about J.J. Watt as well. So let's throw them both in a trade. Deshaun Watson and Watt for your next three first-round picks in Khalil Mack, who is worth at least another first, if not two, because that's how much you gave up for him. This is obviously my YOLO trade idea of, hey, let's just throw a dart out there and uh, see what you guys think about it. I think it'd be fun. I mean, J.J. Uh, Watt's certainly not as good as Khalil Mack. We know that. He's entering the last year of his deal. He's older. He's had some injuries uh, on those tires now for a few years. But he was still productive last year. He only had five sacks, but actually had more quarterback hits than Khalil Mack. I think uh, – He's probably got a little more versatility. He can slide inside if you need him to. He's played in three fours. He's played in four threes. I think J.J. Watt obviously would still have some value. You're getting the worst player out of the two, but you're getting Deshaun Watson as well. It'd be fun, and obviously uh, the, the whole uh, J.J. Watt's wife actually plays professional soccer in Chicago. Hey, I'll just throw that out there as well. That's been uh, you know mentioned in the past, and there's some real thought that if the Texans are rebuilding, J.J. Watt could want out as well, so we'll see how that plays out. My YOLO trade idea, but one I wanted to throw together for you guys. Now, where will Deshaun Watson play next season? Look, I want it to be the Bears. It's probably pretty unlikely. Until it's, until it's not a possibility, though, I'm going to keep talking about it because Ryan Pace – 
owes it to this fan base to try everything he can do to get Deshaun Watson. Period. End of story. He shouldn't even be the GM anymore. But now that he has this opportunity to see, still be in charge, I hope he tries to get him. I think the Jets will be interested. I think the Dolphins have a lot of draft capital. The Colts should show some interest. A ton of teams are going to try and get Deshaun Watson. I hope it's the Bears. And if it is, you're going to want to subscribe to the channel because we will be live breaking it down here on Chicago Bears now.